they don't have the kind of closed circulatory system that vertebrates have, uh, but they do have a hemolymph, an open fluid system, which contains molecules that help transfer the oxygen. And it's involved also in the hydraulics that help move the legs. Well, neither one is likely to be fatal, uh, so you can't use that as a criterion. Black widow spider bites can produce some pain. They're often misdiagnosed as appendicitis, um, so you might be in danger of undergoing unnecessary surgery. But a normal healthy adult will not have any difficulty recovering in most cases. Uh, brown recluse spider bite, um, the, the venom is very different. It's tissue destroying and you may, as a result, need skin grafts in the long term. Uh, so, given a choice, I think I'd take my chances with the Black Widow. Well, uh, most of the spider actually is not touching the web. Um, it's hanging onto the silk with uh, some very tiny claws that are at the very tips of its leg. So those are the only things that actually contact the silk and they are coated with an oily substance that uh, helps them get through the glue if the claw should actually get into the sticky part of the silk. Well, uh, is a, the garage is, is, a, is, is a detached or, or semi-detached building. Um, you could have quite a wide variety of things coming in from the outside. Um, the things that you're most likely to notice, of course, are the things that would, that would build cobwebs, for example. So there, there are relatives of the Black Widow that are harmless, um, but build those kinds of messy cobwebs, and they're very common uh, in garages. But you could also have things like wolf spiders that just basically wander in. They don't build webs to catch their prey, so you would only see the spider and not a web. Um, but they're quite large uh, and active, so uh, uh, you, you might well notice them. Mm -hmm.